Scott Tomset, CEO of Rovioc. We are a technology firm focused purely on the raw materials industries. We use the results of these activities, whether we know it or not, every day. We can say everything we like about how much we value a healthy environment and equal society, but when we buy these materials and we can't actually say that, you know, have these been sourced in the right way or not, it's hard to stand by those values. If we look at a metal supply chain, we can decompose that down into specific mining locations, but we'll always end up with a gap, whether it's 10, 20% of metal that's unaccounted for. And very often that unaccounted amount will, will come from these artisanal sources. Very often, a lot of those sources we really don't know you know, where they are and, and how much they're producing and in what way. What we're trying to address is um, what we'll call the completeness gap in terms of data around artisanal mining and more broadly in metal supply chains. Vast areas of land where this activity is happening and in a lot of circumstances it may not be legal activity as well. So the motive to self-report may not be there at all um, and then if you don't know it you can't manage it you can't then mitigate the impact of it you know whether it's human or environmental um, or even you know more broadly when it comes to the supply chain the kind of the consumer impact as well we thought well you know where can we get the most coverage from and, and um, we thought you know that's best to come from from satellite imagery um, so we, we trained um, some machine learning algorithms with um, a whole bunch of satellite imagery to do with the known artisanal mines. And from that we're able to basically create a solution that then can detect also the ones that are unknown. So we've created a product called PDAR, Pervasive Exploration Activity Detection and Response. It's quite a mouthful, that's why the acronym. We're not proposing this to necessarily fix specific things. What we think it will do is empower um, those in positions who can affect that change. So, you know, they, they will literally know where to drive to, to to really assess the impact, where to drive to to mitigate, you know, these environmental impacts and, and these human impacts.